Hey, good day to everybody. Hey, thanks again for coming back to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I thank you very much for tuning in. Um, hey, today what I'm going to talk about is something that's not in my normal. And that's, I'm going to promote a video just because I found it kind of funny, but also irritating. So, I will put that video up, uh, a short clip of it, and then I'll give you the link to where you can find it so you can see it for yourself in its entirety if you choose to. But anyway, it's pretty cool because it must have taken this father a huge amount of time in order to put this uh, short video together. So go check it out on his on his YouTube channel. Uh, give him the, the viewership for it. It's, it's a pretty cool video. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, so what I'm going to discuss today has to do with um, what I've oftentimes referred to as the liberalization of society. And what I'm getting at are the changes that we see from the liberal mindset that um, Republicans are the bad people, Republicans are the racists, and you hear quite regularly from people out on the street, you see it in the videos. Um, in some ways, you even see it in Hollywood in their movies that they're producing, how uh, the, the liberal mindset is invading into movies, television programs. Uh, so we have the promotion of the transgender and uh, people who are homosexual, lesbian, showing up on television shows, and it's being portrayed as normal and a natural thing for society. And what it ends up doing with this liberal mindset is it takes people like me who see that particular lifestyle as being wrong, uh, going against God's rules and God's laws, going against the teachings of the Bible, and it views me as being a bigot. And it's just, it's frustrating to see that somebody like myself is being lumped into this category of bigots, racist, uh, you'll hear us being called Nazis, uh, fascists. Uh, the, the list is quite long what they're doing. And aside with this, with another side of this aspect of this liberalization of America and the world at large, we see maybe in a smaller part as textbooks are being changed and uh, even, I would, even Christian literature is starting to be affected with the same liberal mindset and the one I'm specifically referring to if you're not aware of it is the the shift from uh, how we date so in the past things prior to uh, Jesus's birth it was called BC um, I always remembered it and viewed it from childhood as meaning before Christ and then we have uh, after Christ's birth, the date shift going to AD or Anio Domine, uh, the year of our Lord. And now we have this change that is showing that you'll see in, in books that where it used to be BC, BC, they are now calling it BCE, before Common Era. And the shift for re, the removal of Anio Domine or AD is now CE or common era. And I know it's a minor thing, but it just shows the, the shift or the push of the liberal mind uh, into our kids, into our society to remove all aspects of God or any potential aspects of God. And what I do find it troubling is we are even seeing this uh, shift in dating terminology showing up in our theologians, showing up in our churches, where we now have uh, Christians who are using the term when they're writing their books, or of Christian literature using B, C, E, and C, E. I just thought I would take a couple seconds to, to show you. Here's one of the books that I'm reading as I'm working on writing a book. And this is one of the books I'm going through, gathering some information. And this book, um, is utilizing the terminology BCE and CE in its designation. And it's definitely a Christian literature. So anyway, I just wanted to show 
Here's one case of it. There are others that I've ran across and doing my research. So it is definitely starting to come. And this is a newer book. So it just shows you the shift as we are getting. And it's not, in, keep in mind, it's not including every single piece of Christian literature because I still see even new material using BC and Anio Domini. When I was going to uh, Multnomah University, a shift in the professors that are now using BCE and CE. And some of them justified it because that's where society is going, so we have to fit the norm. And my aspect is, is no, we don't sit, fit the society norm. We don't lose our Christian heritage. We don't get rid of those things just to appease the others. You know, we stay with ourselves. Um, it's, it's just like me with, with trans genders and people wanting to use pronouns that are being used incorrectly. Um, no, I'm not going to accept their society norm when I see it counter to the teachings of the Bible. I'm going to stand up for that. And therefore, for me, yeah, it's a minor detail, but I'm going to continue using B.C. and A.D. Because that's the way it was my entire life till very recently as the shift was being made. And it's the same aspect that I grew up uh, being taught in school, uh, all the way from elementary school, junior high, and high school, being taught that, you know, this nation was once founded upon Christian and Judeo values and principles. They even, even taught in classes that the Christian values rolled over into our constitution, rolled into our, our government, that our country was, was founded as a Christian nation, that the freedom of religion was the state not telling you what sect of Protestantism or even Catholicism that you'd worship, that you had that freedom to choose, that you were no longer being forced like they were under England to worship under the Church of England or the Anglican Church. And so you were now given that freedom to choose how you were going to worship and what sect of Protestantism you were going to be. And now we have that shift being uh, to where that's not even the case, that uh, the nation was never founded as a Christian nation, that we were never founded under Judeo-Christian values, and it's being pushed. How do I know that? Because uh, some of the materials that my daughter have been coming home with, or I should say daughters, my high school daughters, have been coming home with that they're being taught in their history classes. That just isn't correct. And that a little bit of research, you will see that that's not the case. Look at back in the old historical textbooks, and you will see that what they're teaching now is not the true history of the United States. And it's very frustrating, but it is that push of progressivism. It is that push of liberalism to change our America to fit a broader picture of what America should be, accepting of all peoples, of all religions, of all nationalities, and to where you don't have to conform to our society at all. You can come here and you be just as you are. And I find that troubling. Am I accepting of immigrants from foreign nations? Absolutely. But as my family immigrated from Germany, um, they, they more or less conformed to the American society. They left their German heritage back home in Germany. And they became Americans and they worked hard to learn English and to speak English to where they didn't speak German in their home uh, to the point that I remember growing up as a kid and my great grandma having a very heavy German accent and my dad's uncle having a very German accent, very strong German accent. But they grew up speaking English to even the point that my dad doesn't know German today because they conformed to America where English was spoken and that became the language of their household and they started celebrating the holidays in, in, in America and not the, the holidays that they left in Germany. You know, they, they weren't big on Oktoberfest. They didn't celebrate it like you will see uh, taking place and I'm not saying that we can't celebrate those things or we can't have partake in some of that but I do find it troubling that we are having people coming from foreign nations that are waving their foreign flags in the United States instead of waving the American flag as my family did. They put away their German heritage and became Americans, waving the American flag. They're proud to be Americans 
and the song I'm proud to be American fit my family directly but what we are seeing today is a whole group of people that hate the flag that hate America and say America was nothing but founded upon racism and slavery and those facts just aren't correct we have a whole group of people including modern day conservatives that view the Republican Party as the ones who were the the the, the racist and the, the slave owners and none of that and all of that is further from the truth it is absolutely not correct you know the Republican Party hasn't changed they've been the conservative party since it was founded and we've always pushed equality accepting somebody as Martin Luther said not based on their skin color but based on their morals and their beliefs we don't look at their skin we don't look at who they are and that's how we should be judging people is based on how they are their actions their moral values how they are in society we don't look at their skin color to make a choice of whether or not we should accept them or not um, so that's what I'm talking about today that's my my thing that I've been thinking very heavily on is this shifting in our society that is now reaching even our dating system and I really wish that Christians would oppose it that we would hang on to our Christian heritage as absolutely long as we possibly can and that we would start looking into history as Christians looking at, at history as Americans and seeing where our history really came from to see that we definitely were founded upon Christian principles and Christian values and there is no doubt about that at all and yeah we did have a bunch of founding fathers who were deists but I would step out and say if we weren't founded as a Christian nation then why in the world did our government and our state allow church services to take place in our Capitol buildings why in the world did we allow our public buildings to have displays of the Ten Commandments and we do see that shift in our society where we have groups that are demanding that those things be removed we're having people that are demanding to have monuments that have been erected or decades that are of a cross on quote public land and they're wanting those removed because of separation of church and state yet they fail to look that when they read their constitution you will not find separation of church and state in the constitution that it was actually a letter written by thomas jefferson so all that said what i'm getting at is look at our history do research study it and hold to our christian values and hold to our Christian principles and not cave one bit on them and that includes we need our theologians we need our pastors we need our church leaders to stop using BCE and CE I know it's so minor I know it's not a big deal but let's hang on to before Christ and annu domine so that's what I have Tell me what you think. Uh, I'd greatly like to hear what your thoughts are. Put them in the comments below. I'll take a look at them. And again, thanks for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. If you like my content, I would just ask, please hit like and subscribe. And I hope you are having a wonderful day. God bless. Take care. And we'll see you next time.